What's good? What's good? Welcome to the show, family. How you doing today? What's happening? It's the weekend. It was good to have everybody checking in. What's up? What's up? Let us know what part of the country you're rocking. When you're checking in, I'd love to holler at you. Say what's up. Appreciate you letting us be a part of your day. <coughs> and the weekend is here. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But it's not like, you know, we're off on the weekends. The weekends, it just gets more <laughs> intensified. Right. I cannot wait to leave today so I can just take a nap before it really kicks in. I wish I could take a good nap. <sighs> that would be wonderful. It should be mandatory on your job for you to take a 30-minute nap. Yes. Yeah, and you should be able to do it every three hours. <laughs> every three hours. Yes, I need a nap. Every three hours, man. Like the little kids. Should I <laughs> <laughs> All right, triple eight four zero nine zero nine three one. That is the number. Triple eight four zero nine zero nine three one. That is the number, and uh, we're gonna touch down with you. Let's read this letter, and we'll read it one more again um, in five minutes for those who might miss it on the air. Okay, dear Sam. Unfortunately, after twenty five years of marriage and owning a business together for ten of those years, my husband and I are getting a divorce. Our business took a toll on our personal life. My question is. If our marriage wasn't successful, is it wise to continue as business partners of our successful business? You just answered your question. The business is successful. Right. So keep making money. That's the end of that answer. Nothing else to be said. You yeah. can turn around and open up a business and do something with somebody you don't know. But here it is. You had good business. If you got good business sense, if you make money, you make money. You get a divorce, you get a divorce. Wendy Williams just, uh, uh, um, there's there's talks that Wendy Williams' husband is coming back on to be, to continue to be her manager because she they work great together. However, the the, the side baby doesn't uh, help, uh, you know. And side baby, side baby, side baby here, but the money still has to keep on flowing. Mm. <laughs> well, she said now she did say uh, yeah. that. She wasn't going to hire him. She they they weren't going to do business together. That's what Again, she said. That's at what first. she said. Well, no, she said that um, after the the initial yeah, okay. reports came out. So. Yeah, but then when I spoke to her the other day, she said, uh, "How you doing, Sam? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm good. She... Oh, we on the air? Huh? How you doing, Sam?" Then, she, <laughs> then he changed. I mean, she changed her voice. You ain't right. Uh, uh, what's up, Yolanda? What's up, Sean? What's up, CL? What's up, uh, Sean Stroud? So, uh, uh, what else? What else? Okay, so. So she did say when I, you know, because she's going on tour, and and uh, and she's supposed to tell it all. Supposedly, yes. she's not. I'm not. It all. No, she's not gonna do that. That's just a way to get you to come out and spend the money. She said, <laughs> "I'm not going to. If you come out and expect for me to talk about my Kevin, that's what she called her him. exact words was my Kevin. That's what she said. I'm not going to do that. Okay. okay. Well, what else is there to talk about? We know about the show. Yeah." We know about everything else. If yeah. You're not coming clean about the stuff that we don't know. What's up, Mario? Yeah. Michelle, what's good? But well, that's just me. Well, uh, what, what people got to say? What y'all talking about? But what if, what if you can't stand your person, though? Man, you can't stand them. But if you still make money, you need to figure it out. You have to still live. You do, but you don't like this person. You're divorcing them out of your life. And well, the last thing I want to do is see you well, every sell, day sell, still. Sell yours and go on about your business and get somebody, you know, just you could be an investor, private investor. People got to learn how to be smart with money. Yeah, buy me out. Yeah, I'll buy you out. Yeah. Then what you going to do then? I don't like the part. Just leave here. Walk away. You know what? No, Walk away. No, no, Walk no. away. Well, if you're going to say that, then keep the business going. It's the same damn thing. But you got to see the if they buy you out. Then you can just keep it moving, and you know. What do you mean? If if they buy you out, if your mm -hmm. spouse buys you out of the business, mm -hmm. then you could go on about life, and you don't have to be aggravated by the same things that you wanted to get yeah, a divorce about. That's fine. That's fine. No, no. You know, you, you gotta be smart with the money. Yeah. Well, that, that money you making some good money, man. You gotta eat. You gotta live. Yeah. I don't know. That's just me. You know, now if you if you got the problem with seeing, then that, then just stay away. I see your check here. <laughs> Here's the money we made. But yeah, uh, on the real, I'm just saying it didn't work. Now let's re let's break down the letter. Uh, we're gonna read it one more again and, and on the air. But what she says, unfortunately, after 25 years of marriage and owning a business together for 10 of those years, I, uh, my husband and I are getting divorced. Our business took a toll on our personal life. 
Yeah. All right. So the personal life, which can happen, which can happen. Okay. Right. That yeah. can happen. But if the but if the business is still successful, you know, you want to you don't want to make. I mean, life is about money. Everything is about money. There's not nothing that's not about money. That's you can't true. do you can't do do without having uh, the right proper paper. For me, life I right, is Lou? about peace. You gotta have the right type of paper. Yeah, you want to have peace. I you gotta peace. go. You gotta go pay for the paper. You do. Two ply yeah. only, two ply. Yeah. No, I need Except. some peace in my life. All money ain't good money. Right. Well, walk I'll away. Be. And if if you feel that bad that he or she is it, just go on lead in. Goodbye. No, you got to pay me for my 10 years. Yeah, so you still, yeah. you're bitter. No, yeah. no, no. You're bitter. You're bitter. You just want to clean, just leave? You're bitter. clean old break. You go on about your life yeah. with your side kids and whatever you're doing yeah. out there and... Yeah, I'm going to go this way. What the comment? What folks talking about? We got 60 seconds before we go live. All right. Charles said, if you decide to continue the business, draw up a legal contract with the Yeah. Rules. Yeah. Get the check. Yeah. And Will said, it depends on how the relationship is now. If you two can still get along and respect each other and the business is not suffering, I don't see a problem with it. Right. You get that money. Come, the bag is coming in. But we have a female. Uh, she's, Cherie said, <laughs> nope. When, uh, because when either of y'all find love again, the other will not be happy. Branch off, but keep the same business line if it's that successful. Yeah, that's true. That new person will be like, "What? No." Drop, drop the contract. Look, you can't hire your dude. You ain't gonna have my woman here. Cause like, if they interfere with the morning, you know, you won't be having your little feelings and stuff. So you know. <laughs> Right, because it's gonna change the whole good get along and thing. We is build this change. together. You got this this ninja sitting up in here. <laughs> I wish you would. Eden. Lucky day. It's called Roll Some More. Now we're going to ZAK Sam Sick Show. Uh, coming up in the uh, last hour of the show, it's Rhyme on Time on Fridays. We rhyme on time. Rhyme on time for tickets to see Nelly, TLC, and Flo Rida. Coming uh, to Blossom on the 15th. So we got those tickets coming up for you. Best Ride on Time wins. Win Sour Reality Out. What's up to everybody on the uh, Facebook? What's good? Welcome to the show. Let's read the letter. Okay. Dear Sam, unfortunately, after 25 years of marriage and owning a business together for 10 of those years, my husband and I are getting a divorce. Our business took a toll on our personal life. My question is, if our marriage wasn't successful, is it wise to continue as business partners of our successful business? 25 years, right? Marriage didn't didn't work. Right. But you all were successful at uh, this business. And and, and when you when you're married and you're doing business, it it can take a toll, but you got to figure that part out. Now the part that you said is successful is the fact that you got a 10-year business and you're making money. That's nice. You're making money. Mhm. Do you, you do you stay do you dislike him that much? That much that y'all can't continue to make money? So you and me somebody else, start something with them, don't know a damn thing about him or her. Take a risk on, on somebody you don't know. Mm-hmm. On some peace. I'm gonna take well, a risk well, on take some peace, peace of mind. And leave. Go on about your business. Don't you worry about it. You cash have out. To pay me to cash be free. Out. Cash <laughs> out. Cash <laughs> out. See, you just said peace, right? Mm-hmm. You said peace. I, I that, don't, that don't mean be stupid. Now. I used to work for this couple, right? Okay. And uh, uh, they made me watch. I don't put all their business out, but I used to work for them. <laughs> hey, y'all. And and they kept the family business going. They got a divorce, kept it going. It was he had these two nights. She had the mother nights. I'm just gonna say that. All right. And they were. It still stands to this day that I know of. Oh, that's fantastic. And and they because it was a the grandkids you eating off of it, the daughter she because it was still about making the money for the family. Yeah. So don't don't let it just crash. All oh, the marriage didn't work. Oh hell. You still gonna have to eat? No. Figure it out. No, I'm gonna be real with you. Smart people. Smart people can figure out when it comes to some money. <laughs> I don't know. Smart, smart or people. not. 25 years, you've already given it 25 years. You can't yeah. have another day. Yeah. I mean, no more but, days. But some people that is. If some people yeah. that is. But if you're making some money and it's successful. Yeah. Why don't you just branch off and do your own line of it? Well, whatever we, it is. Well, we already see which way Kenya going to lead. <laughs> <I'm> out. <laughs> you like, hell no. Hell no. I don't care. I don't give a damn how successful this is. Hell no. We ain't going to continue nothing. <laughs> 
It's over with. The whole, I'm about to light it all up. Everything goes. Throw it away. <laughs> what y'all got to say about it, family? Help this lady out. 5780931. Five, seven, eight, zero, nine, three, one. You can be like the lady on, what's that movie? Uh, Tyler Perry, Acrimony. <laughs> what was that? What was that movie? The Acrimony. Acrimony with Taraji. When Taraji, when when she when stuff didn't go her way, she was like, "Oh hell no! You got this broad up in here now in my right. boat." Yeah. I, I don't think I, I don't think I'm that mature. <laughs> You're not that mature. I don't think I'm that mature. Ah, yeah. Sam is probably one of the one of them who is messing up the money, so they are pro they probably can't work together. No, James. They said the business is yeah. successful. Right. That means that they got money. If the business wasn't successful, she wouldn't even be asking this question. Yeah. They're getting that bag. Or go get an attorney, for, and then y'all, you just cash out and say, you know what, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Yeah. Like Anita said, do a legal contract. Mm -hmm. Run the business together. You're going to go work with a total stranger who you don't know nothing about, who can who can, who can, can be an ass, who can, you follow me here, at least you, Y'all got out of 25 years, you had a 10 year successful business. Maybe y'all better as business partners. I mean, it could be. Could be. Uh, she hopes. Yeah, let's see. Here. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Zell. She better sit her ass down and go and continue that business and tell your partner in crime that she needs to do. Hey, keep that business going, find you a new man, and keep it moving. <laughs> it's all about man. the dollar bill. Because <laughs> hey, you can't love each other, I mean, you can't work together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you 100%. Make that money. Hell, I Man. mean, yeah, we had 10 years successful business out of 25 year marriage and business. I'm going to take the money. And the business still going. That's right. Goodbye. It you. ain't got nothing yeah. wrong with your, with your love life. And y'all cheating on each other. That's on y'all. <laughs> keep that money flowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Later. All right, what you got coming in? Comments coming in. All right. CL said business took a toll means it most likely was in an unple unpleasant, stressful environment. Plus, you got to see your ex every day step. No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. I just I just broke it down early. I said they have a successful family business for years. Right. It would be days you would never see both of them in there. And even if you did, they were still peaceful because at the end of the day, people got uh, smart people, uh -huh. in my opinion. Yeah. Successful, smart people. He calling me dumb, y'all. I ain't calling you dumb. No. You take it personal. <laughs> you gonna figure out how to make how to keep the bag coming. I feel you. I get it. I get it. But I, I just know me personally. Couldn't take it, huh? That no, mm -mm, I couldn't, couldn't take, take it, it. Yeah. because yeah. to me, I I give people such a long rope mm -hmm. that. If if you couldn't make it work after all, if I can't make it work with you after all that time, I'm done. I'm just gonna burn a whole business down. Hell with it. He well, they hell with just ten million dollars coming in. I'm gonna burn it down because we couldn't. Now it ten out. million dollars. If you talking uh, about something like that, we might have to work it out. I just, I'm, I'm just not that mature. I just I can't. Because the first time her new dude, like, hey, Felicia said, let me get the I keys. I don't give a damn, like, nah, bro. They, nah. I don't give a damn. I See. Just, I could listen if 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 it's infidelity, uh -huh. right? If we get a divorce because of infidelity, at the end of the day, dude hit it already. <laughs> he hit it. He beat it up. Right. I'ma still get my bag. I don't give a damn. I'ma get my bag. I'ma get Might my bag. Well, huh? It's my uh, uh, so. Oh hell with it. I'm out of here. It didn't take up. It didn't stop the fact that that he did that dude right. did it or she did it. Now he hitting it and you broke. That's Man, come yeah. on now. Y'all going yeah. over there? Are you, you? Can you still handle this? You can do that. You can do that department. I do this department. Let's so he's still going. hitting it and getting your money though. He getting your money though. He's he gonna get it anyway. If she, if she right. said the hell with it. Right. If she said the hell with it. And, and the whole company is hers. Come now? on, oh, man. Yeah. Get out of here.